back to the channel. So today we're going to do a video that I'm actually a little bit nervous about and you're going to find out why. Um, Lucy's on the camera, she's in the doorway, we're in the bathroom, so <laughs> you never she get can nervous. get out. I'm not really that nervous but I'm just a bit apprehensive because every time I've dealt with this one she's Bad been ass. calm but then I drop my guard for one second and that's when she does something. So what we've got to do is if I show you, here is the enclosure and as you see on there, Orphanacea species dichromatis. This is a female, and if I turn it around, I don't know if you can see on the camera, she's in there at the bottom. Uh, not really. But then if I the tilt it up, underneath, there you, can see you can see an egg sac. And mm -hmm. if I just spin around, do a twirl. <laughs> I just open that up. Right, okay, so if I put a little link at the top for the annotation, for when we got these at Christmas, you can see obviously how they acted and the mature male. If anybody knows when you have a mature male, they go off like feeding. They normally don't get defensive and strike. They normally just um, are mating, mating, mating. That's all they do. In they normally calm, aren't they? But the male for this species, <laughs> he was aggressive. He attacked me, bit the bin and ran around the bathroom. We sorted him out. He actually did pair with her and unfortunately we had to leave him into pair so she ate him, which is natural in the world. And then we didn't think anything of it. So we didn't actually see a pair. We didn't actually see any insertion or nothing like that. And then just doing maintenance a couple of weeks ago with your son mm -hmm. and we saw there was an egg sac. So obviously they did do it. So she's done an egg sac, but we can't date it because um, when she stayed down, she didn't come out to eat. She didn't come up to the top of the tunnel. Um, so we left her there. So I can't really say how long it was. So it's been another two weeks since then. We think it's about four or five weeks, yeah, don't we? I do. I think it's about four or five weeks, maybe four weeks at the minimum. But we're going to pull the sack because we've been debating it, losing ourselves. And we can leave it another week. But then what if it did hatch and we've got baby dichromatis in the enclosure? It's going to be a nightmare. Oh, I don't want out. to collect them. So I want to leave it with her a bit longer. But if we did find the first date, then I could have done it. So I'm hoping it's around 30 days now. Um, maybe it might be a bit more. But we're going to pull the sack and we're going to have a look and see what the eggs are like in there. But I already know with this one, she isn't just going to let us take it. We've got to dig her out. She's going to be in mum um, mode, isn't she? Normally for this sort of stuff, when it is really... Can be potentially dangerous can be a bit feisty we wouldn't film we would just do it so for the safety of the spider safety of ourselves but for this one we want you all to see so for those that have these or um, have bought them or going to buy them um, you know what to um, be prepared for because if you get these the only place that you can get these from I don't think you, you can at the minute can you I think they're still definitely the spider shop. at the minute are they? I think the spider shop still got oh, some okay but the reason we're doing it to film is because the spider shop have got them, but they're world caught. And if anybody knows their spiders, when you have them as slings and raise them up, even ones where everyone says they're defensive, they're normally calmer, yeah. more docile. The world caught ones, because there's more threats out in the wild, they keep that in them. So they are very defensive, very aggressive, if you want to call it that. So we wanted to show people if they have got them. Yeah, you may not pair them, but they could be gravid. So you've got them, then you could That's have a sack, true. and you could end up having to do this. And you need to be prepared for the ferocity, if you want to call it, or the defensive nature of it. So this is just a video going to show you how we get it out. I'm not an expert at this. Other species, we've done it time and time again. It's easier, but this one's so unpredictable. Um, like they run up the bath, they jump out. It's going to be potentially feisty. So. Further ado, let's get straight in and we hope you enjoy it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this goes smoothly and I don't get anything too savage. Yay. But I don't know if you can come over and film. Yeah. So I'm going to kneel down. Closer. Lucy stood up, so if we need to move back, she can go. But the last one, I was this close and the male jumped here and then ran up and I literally had to get out of the yeah. way and then he was and striking. So take the lid off. Oh, she's going to be so keyed off. Let me just get some apparatus. I love how they make their tunnels. Yeah, I need to let my eyes focus because I was looking at the camera give me the little light spots and I don't want to be blurred. Right, so let me just check. Yeah, so already she's over this side of the enclosure but because I've put it down, took the lid off and I'm speaking, she's moved to about here oh, and then the she? tunnel comes up. Yeah, so she's aware of me. 
Um, there is ways of doing this where you want to get them out if you rehouse them you can flood the um, enclosure and the spider will instinctively run out but because there's an egg sac you don't want to do that. So she is down in this point here. Let's just move that. But the thing with these is I need to start digging here. Um, I need to also keep an eye on this because she could just run out in the mm. fence and she is bigger than what this hole is. And she is very, very fast and aggressive. So I've got to somehow dig here, keep an eye you on it. Put so that it's little pot be... over the hole. The little pot? Yeah. Not this one because um, she's a lot bigger than that. So. I just mean like then it would no, give you another idea. second to... I think maybe if I do this... Because not letting it collapse. Because at least that way I don't have to keep an eye on the hole. Yeah. And if I move this down, because I need to see if I can see her here, yeah. and then we'll just get onto it. <laughs> Okay, so the best way to do it, because we've tried excavating down and she's literally right there, she's still holding on to the sack and there's a tunnel going to this side which you took out. It's got all of it out, but it's literally about that far on top of her and I don't want to hurt her or the sack. So the best way I think I'm gonna have to do it is put the lid on, tilt this on its side so yeah. it excavates down away from her and then she should be exposed mm -hmm. and then we can have a look and go from there. She'll keep hold of her sack. Yeah, her she will at the minute. She should keep hold of it. Mm -hmm. So, because she's here, if I do this... Tip the other way. And then tip it the opposite way. Yeah, I can see the sack there still. And then what we do is I can take this off and just pull it down. It's not easy, is it? No. It is, but it's just because of this species. I just don't want to do something. Okay, so I've got it on the side. And as you can see, this bit here, I've excavated. She's done webbed chamber, but she is literally here. So I just need to knock that piece out. And then it should expose the sack and herself. And I expect her to come flying out as well. So as soon as I've got that bit, we'll come straight back and show you the spider and the sack and what we're going to do. She might not, might she? She might stay still because she's protected the sack. Hopefully. And her leg. Yeah. Over the top of can it. Can you see that? Yeah. So we can see the legs, we can see the sack, oh, but she's like so that. reinforced the um, her chamber with webbing at the bottom and the top to reinforce it. But because we've done this with cocoa fiber and topsoil, it really compacts like a brick. It's solid, so it's it? so solid for her, but I'm trying to do it mm. so small without actually hurting her. So She's we're nearly there. Mummy. So we'll get back to you in one second. Oh, God. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. We have her here with the sack. Um, she's actually, her abdomen shrunk down quite a bit. Oh, oh, oh there you go, look. She's panicking because she's out. Oh, so let me just nice. let me just cup her. Yeah, she's come away from the sack. Yeah, okay. So she's still a good size, look. Absolutely beautiful. You just thought she died, didn't you? And then she yeah. just pounced. We had to do it off the camera because it looked, she held the sack up, but then wrapped all her legs around it, every single one. So I thought that that was because she's died on it, but then she just attacked <laughs> and we had to jump back. But she's <laughs> let go of the sack. Obviously, I've just... Um, scared her a little bit so let's see if we can remove this i think this is going to make her run yeah she's going oh no she's going away from the sack <laughs> oh, oh, no, no 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 <laughs> whoa freaking <laughs> out oh my god holy shit <gasps> oh i don't know where she is though oh, oh she's my there. god Bloody right, okay, give me the camera give me yeah the camera. you take it jesus oh my Christ. god 
<laughs> right, so the straw, then. these have good eyesight. She um, was nowhere near the sack, so I went to pick the sack up. She rang and attacked the uh, straw, so have to be very, very careful with that. She wants to hide and get away now, so she's gone off the sack, but I need to see if I can quickly grab hold of it. Here she comes again. Oh, she's beautiful. Right, I'm just going to do this. Mm. There we have <laughs> the egg sack. So what we'll do is we're going to rehouse her, but um, we're going to also have a look and see if this is any good. Um, hopefully it's got a bit bigger, but oh, it looks hopefully good. so we'll do that as well. So we'll see you in a second. Had to tip her up, get the whole enclosure out, and now she's in the bath. Mm -hmm. I think she's made permanent residence. Mm -hmm. In the bath, I said, and just leave her and never use the bathroom yeah, again. <laughs> I think we're just like getting the sink from now on. Do not do this at home with your fingers like I am. You're going to put a disclaimer like old TV on the thing. Do not try this at home. I always think of, I always get images as well of picking the catch cup up and the lid just falling off. <sighs> Gosh, she's actually, when she scrunches up, she's a lot smaller than what she looks. Orphanacea species dichromatus. You, you know, can't see it very well, can you? So what we're going to do is we're going to rehouse her, get it all nice and settled, maybe put um, a roach or doobie a roach or something in with her just so she can attack that, take out her aggression and anger, maybe have a little <laughs> bit of a feed. And Sorry, girl. That's it for this one. So this is all you're going to see. We're going to rehouse her, but we're not going to film the rehousing. What we'll do now is we'll show you the eggs. So we'll let you yeah. see if they're any good and stuff like that on the end of it. So she'll be um, hating us now, won't she? What I'll probably do is I'll put a little picture at the end of her rehoused in or something like that, or I may put a little bit of a clip. Um, but we're going to go straight onto the eggs now so we can show you those. Maybe later. Okay, so done another incubator. But now let's see. Here we go. It's got some good weight to it. <laughs> Let's just see. Without hurting any, because we've got no idea really what stage this is. Or how many are in there? Yeah. Because obviously we didn't see her lay. I love how they've done it, she's done multiple layers. Yeah, I know I say literally on every video that something about each one amazes me in some way, but it always amazes me how strong the web is. She's done three layers. Fourth layer. <laughs> five layers. Aww. She's done five. And you just said, didn't you, it was amazing, there was no moisture on the bottom and she'd She's kept it perfect, hasn't she? And rotated and yeah, six yeah, layers. Really That's number six. Dear Grimadis babies. Hopefully. Grimadis babies. Seven layers. Well, you can see the eggs. Yeah. Through this layer. I think this is the last one. I have to be very careful with this one. So we've got no idea of the date of this. It's like surgery. <laughs> it just reminded me, you know the old game, Operation? Yeah. <laughs> beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, they look quite small, aren't they? Yeah, so it looks to me like it's under 30 days. Oh, we had no idea though, because we didn't see her mm. do it. So they're not. They're not quite eggs with legs. Yeah. <clears throat> so we can still put them out, see how many there are, separate them, and then keep an eye on it, and then we'll add it to the clip. So this stage, literally within a week, they should be eggs with legs. You can see them in there, though. I can, like, your eyes probably ain't good enough, are you? Yeah. Like I can see in there the inside, so they are good. So. Her webbing is so sticky. Uh -huh. See, like there's a bad one there. Oh, okay, so we stopped. Yeah, and it's it stuck spreading. to all of those. So if we remove that one. Yeah. I need that paper. So, but what I'll do is I'm not going to remove it fully. I'm just going to take it away from all of them and put it separate. Can you see the little white bits inside? Does the camera pick it up? No, I don't think so. See, there we go. There you go. So you can see the white bits in some of those eggs. We'll go through and do a few more in a second. Let me get them all out. So delicate, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy that we removed it at this stage because um, those bad ones, they will not infect any others. It's actually more than what I thought. There's quite a lot in here, babe. Yeah, but I can also see another three, four yeah. bad ones, so it's good. We're going to get them out. Okay, so we've removed all the eggs. Some of them you can't pick up on camera, but you can see they're forming inside, so they're all really good. And I know it doesn't look like it on the screen, but Lucy's roughly counted. And how many do you think we've got? About 130, I think. About 130. So, yeah. But over this corner here, we've separated a few because we've got one, two, maybe about four or five that don't look too good at the minute. But we've kept them separate. So we'll it's about them every day, we? 130, 140. So that's the Black Fury potential baby. So we're very, very happy mm -hmm. with that. Um, so thanks very much baby. for the video. We'll see you on the next one.